Hello darlings, you probably can't tell, but I've just been to London. And I'm gonna tell you all about the coolest places to go in London, but first I'm gonna give you some tips. So the first thing you need when you get to London is one, a tube map, and two, your Oyster card. This is gonna be your best friend. With this card you can use the tube, which is the metro in London, and you can use all the buses. And you have to pay a five pound deposit for this card, but you're gonna get those five pounds back if you return the card after your trip. So if you're gonna be there for a week or close to a week, then it's just cheaper to pay for the whole week, which is 36.80. Or if you're just there for a few days, then you can just pay seven pounds per day. And I tried to do my best English accent during the videos, but sometimes I forgot and I did my normal accent. It's tough filming and doing an accent and thinking about what to say. And I thought I was nailing it, but this really cute guy told me that my accent is not that good. So... But he's not English, so he can't tell me. Although he's close to being English. Anyway, here are the coolest and best things to do in London. Oh, and remember, in words of youth lying closer, traffic tends to come from the right. So please be careful about that. I am on a bus, inside a train, inside the ocean. So it's like a train for cars. And we're on our way to London. We're in London! I've already acquired my English accent, as you can tell. I'm looking for the metro station. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. We're in London, London! <laughs> we just saw the Big Ben and now we're going on the London. Look, the bus is with two stories. I hope we see Jude Law, but I don't know if he lives here. No, I prefer Orlando Bloom. <laughs> it would be awesome. But I think he lives in Europe. I don't know where Jude Law lives. My English accent is coming along pretty nicely. Yeah, but I, I don't have a British accent. I'll just stick with my American one and I'm okay. <laughs> Let's hope I find my English soulmate. <laughs> And who knows, maybe we can start a relationship with Prince Harry. Yeah. We have arrived at the Buckingham Palace to see the gods change. We do it every day at 11.30 a.m. advice when you go to the loo, public loo, uh, before you flush, open the door, then flush and run for your life before you get splashed. Covent Garden Market. While you're here, you have to go across the Covent Garden Market into the Jubilee Market, and there will be a man with really black hair. His name is Philip, and he's selling hats. And you have to tell him to tell you the story about Buckingham Palace. 
the classical picture at the telephone. We are at Somerset House. What is this famous for? Ah, uh, let me see. Okay, Marissa doesn't know either. So the Somerset House is famous for being the Courtauld Institute of Art Gallery and the Embankment Gallery. In all that he does, he prospers. Sound, blah blah blah. Piccadilly Circus. for my picture with Ryan Gosling and there was the statue girl and I didn't know she was a statue so I was like are you done and it was like it's not a person but nobody noticed so it's fine what's up Harry Styles it's just a little camera shy I have a dream today. London Bridge. So, Marussia, you're at the priority seat. Is this your way of telling me you're pregnant? <laughs> Hello, as you can tell by my umbrella, we're having our first day of real London weather. We just left St. Paul's Cathedral. Sorry, no pictures or video allowed inside, so you're just gonna have to Google it. And this is where Princess Diana got married. And now we're going shopping. And it's so windy that I almost started flying like Mary Poppins with my umbrella. Oxford Street. Hasenbeth mug at Uven Outfitters and it was 15 pounds 
and Marussia said it was too expensive, but I don't care, it's Heisenberg. Again. Hyde Park <laughs> Trafalgar Square Hello, I'm at Postman's Park and this is where Jude Law and Natalie Portman filmed my favorite movie, Closer. And it's a memorial for people who died saving the lives of others. Notting Hill. The travel bookshop in Notting Hill movie. And the famous blue door. Thank you for watching, you are the coolest. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below and share it with everyone. Obviously, there are so many things to do in London and I can't fit them all in one video, but I'll write a few bonus places in the description box. Cheerio! By the way, they don't say cheerio in London. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Maybe he's right. Here, here comes the sun. Dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs>